What's up my friends? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the last day of our great safari here in the beautiful country of Tanzania. I was documenting bits and pieces of the last few days just to help you with guides and resources after the fact. But today I want to do things a little bit differently and I want to instead document the whole day start to finish just to kind of bring you closer to what a typical safari day looks like and the things that go behind the scenes to prepare and be ready to have a great adventure. So we're starting our adventure right here at Tarangire Simba Lodge. This is the lodge that we checked into yesterday night and it's really beautiful in here. We love the accommodation. We start the day usually around 6 and 6.30 and it depends on where we are staying. We've been staying in either bush camps or lodges. This is a lodge right here. I think this morning they were serving breakfast around 6.30 so we probably woke up around 6 a little bit before that and we had some breakfast here but this breakfast this morning was really special just because there were plenty of animals in front of the dining area so we were having breakfast while seeing a lot of zebras and that was, that was a very special moment. They do have a nice uh, pool in uh, this lodge too, which uh, I really wish that we had some time to spend at the pool yesterday, but we came in very late and then we have to leave very early. That's the majority of the morning rituals, other than obviously packing. We have to make sure that our duffel bags are all packed in and ready to be loaded to the vehicle. And by the way, today we are adventuring in Tarangire National Park. So the last few days we spent them between Serengeti National Park Park, North, Central and then Gorongoro Crater but the last day here is going to be in Tarangire National Park. It's a great park, it has a lot of wildlife, a lot of animals and it's going to be an exciting day. The safari that we are on is a jeep or a vehicle safari uh, meaning that you're not allowed to walk outside. There are many kinds of safaris which I didn't know before. There are vehicle safaris, you stay in your vehicle, there are walking safaris, there are hunting safaris so many options to choose from so with with the vehicle safari what that means is that you're going to be spending all of the day in the car and then the, the roof is open so when you are in parks where you are allowed to open the roof you can stand in the vehicle and then just watch around take photos and videos so we're three people myself Alex uh, our friend and then obviously our guide for for the for the safari and when I say that the vehicle is comfortable I'm not talking about the rides because the rides are usually bumpy depending on the road conditions but what I mean by that is that the, the vehicle is comfortable in the inside meaning for example we have a fridge where you can keep some water and cold drinks we do have a charging station in case you have to charge your phone and your camera which has been really convenient so I would imagine that the majority of the newer vehicles they do have a charging station our guides even had a modem or router for us so that we can use the internet whenever it's available which has been really convenient and that's what allowed me to share some live stories as we go on Instagram. This is one of the gates for Tarangire National Park. Usually there's some paperwork just to make sure that you are obtaining the right permits. All of that is happening behind the scene. Usually the guy is taking care of that. He makes sure that we are all squared away. But uh, right now we were allowed outside of the vehicle just so that we can take some photos in front of the gates. There are spots where you can get out of the vehicle and there are places where you can't. So it really just depends, but it's nice to, to get out here. I want to show you something. You hear a lot of people talking about the, the tsetse fly and then all of the colors that you should be avoiding uh, with your clothing and such. Um, they do have something interesting right here around the park and it's a trap for the flies it usually got black and blue as a color because these are two of the main colors that the fly is attracted to so keep that in mind and try to avoid the black and blue in your clothing when you are on a safari every day on the safari is different as far as uh, what animals you are going to see so breakfast this morning, we were lucky to see some zebras in front of the dining area. We just saw a Maasai giraffe with a very dark skin color that blends easily with the trees and the bush right here. We saw a bunch of zebras, a herd of wildebeest, and I think we're having a great start of the morning today. They all noticed something at the same time. Every single head went like up and looked that way all at the same moment. We're looking right now at uh, three ostriches. 
one male two females usually you can tell by the color the male they have darker color for their feather and then the females they have gray color for the feather uh, really really interesting animals cool looking bird I think we're seeing this one for the first time we're looking at a few warthogs here uh, which by the way the the name Tarangire of uh, this uh, national park is after the the warthogs Tara stands for river and Gire stands for warthogs the Tarangire river of warthogs I'm having a hard time getting the name right for this tree I think it's a baobab it's a huge tree hollow inside when we went to see the Hadzabi tribes they even rely on this tree as a shelter when it gets uh, during the rainy season so we were let out to to check out this tree and probably take some photos and go check the inside of it as well It's amazing how many times our guide, Dominic, would pull to a spot looking for a specific animal and sure enough, it's right there, like this tree climbing python. It's just hiding between the bushes, but it's just so amazing to be able to see it right here. We are on full speed mode right now, which usually means there is something exciting up ahead. The, the guides work together as a team here, so whenever someone sees something exciting, an animal that's uh, usually difficult to find, they would radio each other and so we're trying to see what it is right now. So that was indeed a leopard on that baobab tree. We did see it crawl and then leave to the other side. So we're just gonna wait here for a little bit to see if it's gonna change its mind otherwise we're gonna see if there is a way to turn around but this is going to be the third leopard of this safari which is pretty exciting these animals are usually not easy to find There's a herd of elephants, at least 10 of them, that we are watching right here near the Tarangire River. The river is pretty dry because it's a dry season, but it's just so much fun to see all of these elephants here. As we speak, there's actually one right in front of the vehicle. We were trying to go back to the tree again to see if we can spot the leopard again but instead we just drove around and then now we are taking a look at two male lions climbing a tree. It's just incredible. We saw a lot of animals today. We just wrapped up our lunch for the day. The lunch situation has been changing depending on where we are in the park. But uh, the majority of the time we would bring lunch boxes with us and leave them in the vehicle. These lunch boxes are provided by the bush camps or the lodges where we would stay the night before. And so um, around lunch time we would either eat inside of the car because some areas of the park you're not allowed to sit or be outside. And some days we would instead find a picnic area like today. 
There's this nice picnic area overlooking the Tarangire River, which is pretty nice. They have restrooms, um, some picnic areas, they even have stands with snacks. The other day we found a stand with coffee, ice cream, and some other snacks, which is uh, really nice. And usually they have, uh, you know, a good amount of food in uh, the lunch boxes. So we would hang out here, enjoy our lunch, and then hit the road again. We have certainly seen more elephants today than we did over the past six days here in Tarangire National Park. If you love elephants, this is certainly the place to be. They like you, Alex. Very nice. Hello. Mm. Wow. Like the toenails. We were so lucky earlier, we saw about six to seven lions underneath a th tree, uh, one of which was a female. And we learned that uh, usually the park here would uh, place a tracker on the female from each tribe just to monitor it. Uh, but not only that, but just on the side of the road right now, we saw another female. This keeps just getting better. Here's another giraffe. Chuiga, that's giraffe in Swahili. That was also the name of our room yesterday. I love how uh, the majority of the bush camps here and the lodges, they would name their tents or their rooms based on uh, animal names in, in Swahili. It makes it easier for us to learn new words. That is it my friends for today. This is the end of our day here in Tarangira National Park and the end of our safari here in Tanzania. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos and guides to prepare for your first safari adventure here in Tanzania or elsewhere. We have about two hours drive to get to Arusha and we will see you soon in beautiful Zanzibar. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>